What's going on, Knucklehead? She came gaming here with another LEGO Legacy Heroes unboxed video for you. And the dev team fulfilling a promise again. They came through on Friday with the promised brick notes, and they have, by golly, come through here on February 1st with the February event calendar. So uh, I, there's definitely a lot of complaints. A lot of hating on this dev team, but I will tell you this, and I think everybody should be a little bit appreciative of this, right? They now have promised two things and delivered on time with those two things. And in those brick notes, they did come out and say, we are not making any more promises that we basically know we can't keep. So I, I feel like those brick notes were already ready when they promised them by a certain date and that this calendar was ready, that they they would not promise us the calendar until they had the calendar finished, right? So they do not have deadlines, right? They won't promise you something. If they promise you something, it's already done. And don't be too discouraged about that because there's a promise in this calendar, and that means it's already done. So let's start off at the beginning of the calendar. We already knew ghost hunting was going to be January 29th to February 7th. I personally now have finished that master event and have my ghost at a whopping seven stars. February 5th, Mind Games is back. The energy event. Is it going to be a reworked brick pace though? Or is it going to be the same DigiJ Mind Games brick pace? Now, all signs lead to a rework on this brick pace, right? Because, I mean, let's just look at the facts here. They reworked Basil, they reworked Yeti. It probably wasn't that hard to rework Jay. Uh, but what I do notice is they did not change the artwork, right? So the Yeti artwork and the Basil artwork they might just have not finished that yet for the event. It might be something that's coming uh, in an update or, I don't know, I think it's just a hot fix they can do. Maybe they didn't finish it. Uh, I'll wait until the event preview comes, which, I mean, it could be as soon as tomorrow we get the event preview because, I mean, the event goes live this week. All right, so Mind Games is back. That's great. My J is six stars. I'm definitely going to get him to seven. You know, we know Clockwork Robot. We're getting 25 free tiles for the robot this month. So that's awesome. Uh, I'm hoping he's got a node. I'm hoping he's... It looks like, you know, they put Egon in the Brainy Kids All-Star event picture. So uh, maybe Egon's going to be, um, you know, farmable in the brick pace. He's definitely going to be farmable in the event store, though. But that also brings me to the next day. We get another all-star event. I've already got so much gold saved up from the last all-star event. And this one, I'm going to be racking it in. Although this is going to be a little bit harder. I feel like a lot of people finished all five nodes on the Yeti event. I feel like not as many people finished it on the Basil event, on the spooky uh, all-star event. But I feel like most people are not going to get past node four for this one. Uh, even, unless you're like a super whale, unless you're tipster and you've got seven star gens, I'm assuming it's going to be hard and challenging. I think I'm gonna, probably going to finish three nodes and it might even take me some farming on my clockwork robot to get those nodes done. I mean, my J and my Zane are pretty high. J is about to be a uh, seven star. I'm pretty close to gear sevening him. Zane's already maxed out. My Egon's only four star. I think I have Egon Gear 7. I don't think so, actually. Not Gear 7, but I am pretty close to Gear 7. My Kartowski's similar similar things going on. Lower star. My Clockwork's only two stars, so you know, Clockwork needs some work. But yeah, I'm, I mean, we knew that these things were coming. This is obvious. But when we look at the last thing here, a mystery event with lots of question marks and it, I, it looks like it's just the Digi J picture, but blurred, uh, which they've done this to us in the past, giving us a false flag picture. <sighs> it's something new, right? It's new content. Rather, it, I mean, we know new characters are coming in this update. We're assuming the update is coming before Valentine's Day, 
because we knew there was going to be a Valentine's Day event and a one year anniversary event. This is a good sign. Things are coming. Like I've been telling people, I, I know it's hard to stick through this, but these are good signs, right? They're not great. Yes, you know, there's a lot to complain about and I get it, but these, this is progress. This is good signs. This is good progress. Okay. Some other general uh, news and updates for my channel. So as some of you have noticed, on Sunday, I was live streaming here on YouTube and on Twitch. I don't know if anybody follows me on Twitch at GKM Band, if you want to go give us a follow over there. I was live streaming uh, this weekend. There was a lot, there was a bit of a face reveal. I was just doing some troubleshooting with live streaming, going back and forth, uh, playing Spider-Man Miles Morales. Uh, but we all, fi we figured it out by the end of that night. Some people tuned in and were just chilling with me. I appreciate that. And then Sunday, we had our first official stream of the channel, right? And we played Lego The Hobbit. I played through the whole first level. It's about a 40, almost a 50 minute video. You know, it's not a speed run. It's definitely, it's a let's play and it's going to be a let's play. So it's going to be me trying to figure out these puzzles uh, and you could actually see firsthand a real gameplay through, not a speed run. I'll probably do some speed runs as I get better at the games. Uh, but I downloaded a bunch of Lego games on PlayStation. got my capture card going. There, we're definitely are now officially, as of Sunday, have officially expanded this channel to other Lego games. Starting with Lego The Hobbit. I'm going to stream Lego The Hobbit every Sunday at 5 o'clock. So if you want to, if you're interested in just hearing my voice or you're interested in Lego The Hobbit, uh, it is a great game so far. I've really enjoyed it. And, I, you know, the first stream actually did pretty well. So, you know, please tune in, come help, support. Check out some other LEGO games. I think I'm going to be doing live streams of sets, like uh, live builds of LEGO sets as well. I got a GoPro, uh, and as soon as I get the final wires I need for that, I will eventually do an official face reveal. I don't think I'm going to put my face in... Um, videos in general it just makes editing terrible and i don't want to do it uh i'm just being honest with you guys but yeah i'll definitely be streaming with my face because that's easy to do well that's pretty much all i got for today knuckleheads please remember to smash that like button hit that subscribe button ding that little bell for some notifications and as always remember to knuckle up Don't know why